Joining me is former Hereford United player Chris Roy. Chris, how does it feel to be back? Uh, going back in time, to be quite honest, like nothing's really changed. Um, there's a couple of things, the outside and the, obviously the cattle mark is gone. But generally the stadium and everything seems to be the same. You joined Hereford from Cardiff in the summer of 1991. John Sillett signed you. What was the main attraction for coming to Baker Street? Um, basically, I had a phone call from John Sillett um, to say, would you like to come up and have a chat? Um, he rang me off the back of seeing me play my league debut with Cardiff uh, up at Berry, uh, a game which we lost 1-0. And apparently he put my name into his black book. And uh, when I was released by Cardiff, uh, he rang me and said, do I fancy coming up and having a chat? Which we did. Um, I was impressed with him, obviously. He's, uh, he's certainly a character and made me want to sign for him straight away, which, which we did. Yeah, two and a half seasons at Eggers Street. Are there any games or goals that stick out in the memory? Uh, it's quite a few, to be honest. Um, Aylesbury away in the FA Cup when I scored my first goal. Um, John Sillett had always said to me that I'd never score never score for him and that pigs would fly when I scored uh, and I did I scored the game I came in at half time and I said there you go gaffer uh, pigs are flying and uh, that was one of the ones the other game was um, Lincoln when we had all the water and Peter Heritage scored after after a couple of minutes and we went on to win that game that was an, an unusual game uh, the game the goals against Cardiff uh, are memorable as well uh, the two that I scored against Cardiff, both here. Um, generally, everything about my stay here was really positive and really good. Greg Downs replaced John Sutter as manager in your second season. What was he like um, compared to Sutter? <laughs> totally different. Um, John Sutter would rant and rave, um, was not afraid of putting you in your place. Whereas I think Greg had a slightly more relaxed attitude to how things went. And obviously it was his first uh, managerial appointment. Um, didn't always see eye to eye with Greg, but having said that, he was a really nice bloke and was really good to me. You left Hereford to join Colchester. What was the reasons behind the move? A couple of things. Um, the main one really was uh, uh, Greg had left me out of the team in one of the televised games and I went in and spoke to him about it uh, and I said that I, you know, that I wasn't happy obviously with being left out. He turned around and said, well, if you don't like it, then you can go type of thing. And I said, oh, okay, then we'll put me on the transfer list. And he said, oh, well, you'll never leave anyway. Nobody I want you. And as it was, a couple of weeks before we played Colchester here in that game with the three goalkeepers and um, he they rang me up uh, and I basically moved within two weeks of that. Roy McDonough signed you at Colchester. <laughs> um, he's got a book out, Red Card Roy, it's a great read. What was he like as a manager? Uh, totally different to anything else I'd ever known. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, a first day training there, um, we used to get trained, changed in the training in the ground, then we'd go up to a training ground. But so all the lads were in the cars, and the, I got in with uh, Peter Corley and uh, Steve Ball. Next thing I know, we are doing donuts in cars in the car park before we end up to training. That was an experience, and we get to training, and all we ever did was five asides. And Roy was quite happy just to let you do five asides. You're now retired from football. You're back at Eggers yes. today. What do you do to earn a living now? Uh, I had my own business for 10 years, which uh, sadly went uh, went the wrong way. Uh, I'm now doing uh, delivery driving for Amazon, back down in Cardiff. And your son's involved in football as well? He is, yes. Uh, was at Bristol City for a good 10 years. Um, then moved up to Motherwell, uh, where he spent a season. Uh, had a good time up there in the Scottish Premier League. Uh, the change of manager there then meant that he was left out and he had to move and he's now playing uh, at Airdrie. 